Today I'm in the city of good neighbors, the sunny city of Buffalo, New York, to tell you an interesting story of a famous Buffalo architect, Mr. Edward Austin Kent. on Edward Austin Kent. He was born in 1854 in Bangor, Maine. His family moved to Buffalo, New York after the Civil War. His father ran a successful department store, the Flint and Kent Department Store. Um, and that's actually one of the buildings that we saw earlier. The Otto Kent building was uh, later built for the department store. The first department store was, I believe, on Chippewa Street. <laughs> This is the Temple Beth Zion. Now this is not the original building, but the original building built back in 1890 was one of Edward Kent's more famous pieces of architecture. This building was built in 1967. The reason it was built was back in 1961, the original building was burnt in the October 4th fire. By the time the fire was discovered, the dome on the building actually collapsed, so that's why they ended up building this building instead. So I'm here at Forest Lawn Cemetery visiting the gravesite of Edward Austin Kent. Here's his tombstone here. As it says, born on February 19th, 1854, and then right underneath, died at sea, April 15th, 1912, on the SS Titanic. So Edward Austin Kent was a famous architect here in Buffalo, but his death is almost even more famous. Uh, he was on the maiden voyage of the Titanic back in April of 1912. He was riding in first class coming back from Europe to New York um, when the ship hit an iceberg. He, uh, there were stories that say that he was helping women and children onto the lifeboats during the wreckage. And at 2.20 a.m., just after the boat had sunk, there's a eyewitness report, I guess, of him going peacefully into the sea. Uh, very interesting way to pass away. He's, uh, I believe, the only person in Buffalo to have ties with the Titanic, and of course his family as well. Um, he was the only person from Buffalo on the boat when it sank. Um, his body was found and brought back here to be laid to rest, of course, here at Forest Lawn Cemetery. But very interesting background on how the famous architect passed away, and that was over 100 years ago, actually 105 years ago. So the building right behind me is the Chemical Five Firehouse building. It's now a residential building. Somebody renovated it recently and currently lives there, but this is one of the more famous buildings. It was part of the fire department for a number of years, and this is on 166 Cleveland Street here in the Elmwood Village. I'm here on the corner of West Ferry Street and Elmwood, and behind me is the Unitarian Universalist Church of Buffalo. It is a English Gothic style building. This building was erected in 1906. Probably my favorite of his buildings. Hi there, thanks for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more content on the city of Buffalo, feel free to subscribe and check out my Instagram. The link is in the description below. We'll see you next video.